prisoner exchange controversy is following President Obama on his trip to Europe. In Poland today, he defended his decision to release five high-level members of the Taliban held at Guantanamo in exchange for U.S. Army Sergeant Bo Bergdahl. Asked about Bergdahl's actions before he was captured in Afghanistan, the president had this to say. Regardless of the circumstances, whatever those circumstances may be, uh, turn out to be. We still get an American soldier back if he's held in captivity. Period. Full stop. We don't condition that. Members of Congress are angry. They were not notified in advance of the release of the prisoners from Guantanamo. Last night, through a top aide, the president sent congressional leaders an apology. But Nancy Cordes on Capitol Hill tells us it was not the one they wanted. Nancy? Maurice, the law states the president must give Congress 30 days notice before transferring Guantanamo Bay prisoners. Now the White House is apologizing not for leaving top lawmakers in the dark, but for failing to inform them directly even after the fact. Senators on the Intelligence Committee were briefed on the prisoner swap today in a closed door meeting they said should have taken place before the U.S. released five Guantanamo prisoners. There certainly was time to pick up the phone and call. Intelligence Chair and Democrat Dianne Feinstein is normally a key White House ally. I strongly believe that we should have been consulted, that the law should have been followed, and I very much regret that that was not the case. The top Republican on the Intelligence Committee, Saxby Chambliss, disputes the administration's argument that it had to move quickly without notifying Congress because Bergdahl's health was at risk. I would say that uh, we have asked that question and there has not been even the weakest case, in my opinion, made that he was suffering from a health standpoint to the degree to which a decision had to be made immediately. Administration officials first broached the idea of a prisoner swap at a pair of contentious classified meetings with congressional leaders in November of 2011 and January of 2012. Feinstein, who was in the room, says lawmakers were almost unanimously against the proposal, but that talks with the Taliban stalled anyway. And Secretary of State Hillary Clinton sent a letter in early 2012 promising to consult Congress if negotiations resumed. But the topic did not come up again until midday on Saturday when aides to House Speaker John Boehner and other top lawmakers got a call from the White House informing them about the swap only a half hour before the White House itself made the news public to everyone, Maurice. Nancy Cordes on Capitol Hill.